Hey guys, Dave from Wolf Art Hobbying here, and today we're going to take a look at building another terrain piece. Uh, this is going to be a western themed water tower, and we're going to make it with an old soup can. Um, this is going to be for my Malifaux table, obviously, with the western theme, but you could use this terrain piece for anything you want. Um, so our first big material is obviously the soup can. Uh, you want to make sure the label's taken off, it's uh, cleaned inside, and there's no sharp edges, as you don't want to cut yourself on your terrain. But that's the uh, most important piece um, for this build. Uh, next one is going to be popsicle sticks. Uh, I have these smaller popsicle sticks, which is going to be the floorboards and frame for the platform. And these regular style popsicle sticks are going to go around the outside of the can, um, along there but if you wanted to use it for a more modern uh, piece you could just leave the corrugated aluminum out and paint it up uh, like a rusty color next I have some small dowels here uh, these will be used to build a ladder um, later on so I uh, picked those up at the dollar store for like a dollar twenty-five um, next I've got uh, some larger dowels here these are going to be used for uh, making the uh, posts that will hold up our um, platform. And we're going to need one small sheet of uh, very thin foam. I picked up this package of 50 for 3 bucks. Um, I'm not sure what it would cost to get the same package anywhere else. Um, I picked it up and this is Canadian so it was 3 bucks Canadian but you want a very thin foam you don't want thick foam and we're gonna need a hot glue gun uh, also you're gonna need something to cut the popsicle sticks with so you can use pliers cutters um, hacksaw if you're careful um, or bandsaw like I will be using uh, a little later on so our first step is just laying the can out on the table and we're going to rough out a frame um, I'm not gluing anything down, I'm just kind of laying down the popsicle sticks and figuring out how big I want the platform for the water tower to be. This is where you can decide whether you want it to be uh, an aesthetic terrain piece or you want it to be an actual functional terrain piece where you can have lots of minis on it. Um, I'm kind of going with a middle part here so uh, not a very big frame. So I've cut the ends off of two pops, uh, off of one popsicle stick, sorry, and um, now I'm just marking off where I'm going to cut the next piece. So grabbing my pliers here, you can just line it up with your line. It doesn't have to be accurate. Um, this is going to be for Malifaux, so if it looks a little wonky or whatever, it's not going to be that big of a deal. So um, now that that end's cut, uh, I'm going to put a just a dab of glue here and I'm going to glue on my first um, cut board. This will help um, make the frame a little easier to figure out and it'll save a lot of hassles than trying to cut all your pieces and remember where they go. Um, so if you just cut one piece and then glue from there, uh, it makes the build go a lot faster. So now I've got to cut the other ends off, but first I'm going to um, measure the left corner there. Um, so just like I did with the right side, I'm going to figure out roughly where I want the uh, width to be and then taking my pen here, I'm just going to mark off again uh, where I want to cut, make the cut, glue it and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other ends. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and um, we'll take a look at the frame. So there's the frame, it's all built and as you can see it is not square at all. Uh, it's very uh, shifty looking but again it's Malifaux so a lot of the art of the buildings doesn't really look like they're built to a code so this actually works in my favor. Um, but even for any other game system it wouldn't really matter. So just give you a quick idea, that's kind of what uh, how big my platform is going to be so it can hold about one or two minis on it, but nothing uh, too big so next you can use your uh, Thicker popsicle sticks here to make the floorboards um, But uh, as you can see it's kind of short so you'd have that rounded uh, Part so if you want to use those I'd make the frame out of those um, so I'm going to use my longer popsicle sticks and um, 
just essentially glue them all down and then I'm going to cut them after. So um, you want to do that. You can either do all the cutting beforehand or after. I choose to do it after. Um, now when you are gluing them down, I wouldn't press them flat just like that. Um, if you want it to look a little old, the there would be spaces in the board, maybe some boards uh, coming up. But in the center where you're going to glue down your can, you want the boards together to give you some strength for the uh, can if you decide to put a roof on it. So here we go. We've got them all glued down. Um, now I have access to a bandsaw, so I just glued them all down and then just cut and then came in there and cut a little hole for uh, my ladder or uh, a water spout if you want uh, to have that look with it as well. Um, but in doing that, I had to glue in another support right here for those middle boards. Um, and I'm going to put in another uh, support board right underneath here just to give it some added strength as um, some of the parts uh, don't really hold up well. So to do this uh, part, it's fairly simple. It's like everything else. I'm just going to put that down, um, mark off where I need to cut with my pen, and then just, uh, as you can see here, just marking off the ends, grabbing my clippers, and clipping them off. Now this uh, build will make a lot of mess, so you may want to clean up as you go. Um, that's what I found at the end of this build. So just running one big bead of hot glue here. Now mine's a low temperature glue gun, so it doesn't get too, too hot where it would really burn yourself. Uh, so that's good, but you have to work with the glue really fast or else it dries up on you. But there we go. There's the platform. I made, uh, just a stencil of where the can should be sitting, but, um, Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I've got the little piece hanging off the side here. Um, but essentially, that's going to be my platform. You can get some really cool looks with uh, the popsicle sticks as some of these uh, were warped. So they're kind of popping up and give us a, a pretty cool look to it. So now we're just going to uh, get our can here. And uh, this is where you can choose to either have the bottom uh, the closed part on top or the open part. Now, um, I'm going to keep the open part on top. So just taking my glue gun here, I'm running a lot of glue on the bottom of this. I really want this to stick to the platform and uh, if it gets bumped, not to fall off right away. If you're going to use the open part at the bottom, you would want to run just a bead of glue right along the rim of the can. Uh, but that pro that could be a problem as it may not give you a lot of strength uh, depending on how often your train gets used but as you can see you know there we go got the open part there to collect water um, so next we're going to figure out uh, how long we want to make the posts for the legs so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get our large dowels here uh, and you only need about uh, you probably only need about two, two or three, um, depending on how big you want to make it. Uh, I only needed two as I wasn't making it that big, but as you can see here, I'm trying to figure out how high I want it to be off the table. That's why the platform's going out of the frame and I'm sorry about that, but, uh, I don't have an exact measurement. I just kind of eyeballed it and I'm just going to, uh, make my mark here of where roughly I want it to be. And uh, then you can come in with a hacksaw, a little hobby hacksaw like I've got here. And you can just um, cut it uh, there. Um, if you want to uh, cut all the way through, I suggest you do it that way. But mine's not that great for cutting wood. It's more meant for plastics. So even if you just score it, you could kind of break it to make it smaller as I'm having some difficulties here. Um, but it's not that accurate. So you can, or if you take your clippers and clip it, you're gonna get that uh, little pinched uh, piece of wood there in the middle. Uh, that can be easily solved with uh, a block of sandpaper. Uh, sand it down till it's flat. But uh, to do this for all four would really um, 
make the, your build time a lot longer. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all four of my pieces here and um, figure out uh, if that's the height I want it at first, because I'm going to cut it with my bandsaw. Um, so I want to make sure that I have the proper height and uh, it looks good so far. And so I think I'm going to go with that height. Um, so now I just have to cut the other three here. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and do that and we'll uh, get to the next step. All right, so I brought the camera out a bit here so that you can see more of the build. And uh, I did cut all four of the dowels with the bandsaw so that it gives me a nice uh, flat edge to work with. If you don't have access to a bandsaw, uh, you can sand it down uh, pretty flat with just sandpaper as well, but it does take a longer time. So just dry fitting to make sure that uh, it, where my gluing area is going to be. And once we have that done, you want to put a large helping of glue on here just to give it some added strength. Um, so getting the last one on here. Now I wouldn't worry too much about um, if they are perfectly straight or anything like that as we're going to add some supports in a minute. And to add some added strength, we're going to bring in our thick popsicle sticks and we're going to put them along the bottom, um, also around the top and the middle part uh, so you're gonna have three you're gonna put one at the top the middle and the bottom on all the sides just to give the supports uh, some added strength um, so uh, now that I've got that done I found out that you only really need the top and the bottoms put on the middle ones give some added strength here but it's not really necessary so that's why with the um, middle one on the back part here I made it broken um, not hard just actually break the popsicle stick so uh, so just glued along the top um, for the wider parts you'd ha I use the uh, small popsicle sticks to get that added support so next step is is I want to get this on a base so I've got a sheet of MDF here um, I cut it, I sanded it down so there's a nice slope, but I didn't want it too big because I don't uh, want a big area terrain piece. But I want something flat so if I put minis on it that it doesn't have the chance of toppling over because uh, it is crooked as you could see. So again just putting big helpings of glue on the bottom of all the posts and we're just going to stick it right to the board. Um, this will also give it uh, some added strength too so that if there are minis on it that the, the legs don't give out on it. But um, that's only a problem if you're using metal, metal miniatures so uh, just be aware of all that when you're building terrain pieces. So as you can see that's, uh, that's the water tower. It's coming along great. Now again you could leave the corrugated uh, aluminum showing and paint it that way but uh, Again, this is going to be for Malifaux and I want the western feel, so I'm going to bring in uh, my popsicle sticks. Now you could also build a roof for this. Uh, some water towers do have roofs, so all you would do is um, take your popsicle sticks and you could just have them going right around the can or you could just build some supports and then put uh, cardboard over top and make it look like uh, corrugated metal if you wanted to. But since I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to come in um, with my uh, popsicle sticks here. And uh, basically, I'm just going to uh, lay it like that and measure all the way around. Um, this is uh, a tedious part, um, but since I'm keeping it the, the top open, I'm going to need to cut these popsicle sticks so that it's uh, in line with the top here. Uh, if you're putting on a roof, you may not need to cut them, but that's up to you. It's all on your terrain build. So just lining up the popsicle stick here. Uh, I'm not worrying about uh, the bottom part being uh, rounded as we will cover that a little bit later. So just measuring off roughly. Uh, as you can see, I can't draw a straight line to save my life, but uh, just a rough estimate of where I want to cut it. And then I'm... Uh, just going to grab my pliers here and cut the end off right there and as you can see I didn't cut it all that straight but again it doesn't matter so if you wanted to uh, put the flat part down 
Uh, this could give it a cool stylized look with the uh, rounded tip here. Um, but I don't really want a look like that uh, as I think it would take away from the feel. But it's up to you. Um, you can have it uh, like that all the way around, but I'm choosing not to. I want it kind of flat. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue all these down. So with any terrain build, there are going to be some issues. Uh, I've got my, uh, my boards glued here. I use the bandsaw to cut this whole group in one cut. So uh, if you're using pliers or any clippers, this is going to take a while. But um, I didn't glue it on straight. So as you can see here, I've got kind of a piece where it starts uh, big and then goes into this angled part here. But I'm not worrying too much about it. I'm not going to try and fix it as um, again it's quick cheap terrain so uh, I'm not worrying about how great it looks so I'm just going to take uh, another popsicle stick and I'm just going to glue it at the top and the bottom here now when you are gluing these you want to uh, kind of slide your popsicle stick down into um, level you don't want to place it right at level because then you'll have glue pouring out whereas if you slide it down you kind of bring the glue down and you don't have a lot of these uh, glue bubbles so uh, it's starting to look great already uh, next step is we're gonna bring in our foam sheet um, so quickly uh, with test fitting anything just gonna make uh, a quick check here and yeah so knowing that the uh, full sheet doesn't go right around uh, I know I'm going to need to cut an extra a piece so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these at 2 8 of an inch uh, thick uh, and I'm going to wrap them uh, the thin pieces around to give it kind of a barrel look. Um, so here are my pieces. I've cut, here you can see three, but I've cut four and I've already placed one around the can already. So again, since it didn't fit, I do have this small little piece here. You could measure it out, exact measurements, but a quick way is just uh, when you wrap the band around is grab it, your cut piece for the smaller ones uh, and just kind of measure where your ends don't line up, cut the piece and glue it into place. So I'm gonna show you here uh, with the middle part, I'm going to start by putting uh, a fairly good helping of glue at the ends and then um, I'll show you how I glue the middle parts down so just one little glob of glue there and just kind of eyeballing where I want it to go and lining up so that all my cut pieces are kind of at the back so it's not as noticeable so then uh, with that end glued I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the other end and I'm gonna pull the foam uh, fairly tight but not too tight um, as you could rip it and then you have to cut another piece and everything like that so just gluing the end um, and then I'm going to uh, grab my other piece that I'm using to cut the smaller bits I'm just gonna line it up like this one here and um, measure mark it where I need to cut it off and then uh, go ahead and cut it. Now, with it not being too tight, uh, you do get that the foam moving. So all I'm doing is I'm just putting a little bit of glue and watching your fingers, you can just press that down into place like that. Now, uh, you could, if you uh, can take it, you can uh, kind of smudge the glue back, but I'm not worrying about the little blobs of glue as we can cover that up with uh, some added, uh, terrain features like flocking but for this part here on the bottom um, you want to make sure you're going to be covering the uh, rounded parts like I have done here right at the bottom um, so that's pretty much the end result of the water tower I just have to fix up that one side there where you can see the bottom of the popsicle sticks but that's not a big deal so next you could put a water spout uh, right about here where you cut that hole if you're following along with what I'm doing you put a water spout like a lot of them have but uh, again I'm gonna build a ladder um, but uh, that's pretty much about it guys that's building a water tower uh, if you like the video please like the like it subscribe follow me on Facebook 
Uh, again, I do have a Patreon account, uh, so if you guys want to show some more support that way, uh, that'd be very appreciative. And thanks again, guys, for watching the video, and please have yourself a great day.